Sixth grade, module one, lesson nine, problem set. Assume each of the following represents a table of equivalent ratios. Fill in the missing values, then choose one of the tables and create a real world context for the ratios shown in the table. So what we're really looking for here is patterns. And I'm gonna be looking for, mostly, I think it's easiest a lot of times to look for patterns vertically, so up and down patterns. Um, so I'm going to start with these three numbers because those are three numbers that are in, in order and the only other set we have are those two. So I notice that 44, 55, and 66, so what is the pattern there? Well, 44 plus 11 is 55 and 55 plus 11 is 66. So I can go ahead and fill in the other spaces. So I'm gonna do 22 plus 11 is 33. And then to find the one before, I'm just gonna subtract 11. So this would be 11, because 22 minus 11 is 11. So now going the other way, down here we have 12 and 16, so that's plus four. So I'm gonna add another four. And 16 plus four is 20. And then I'm going to work backwards, so I need to subtract 4. 12 minus 4 is 8, and then another minus another 4 is 4. So there's our ratios, our table of ratios. On 2, okay, we have 25 and 30 here. So that's a difference of 5. So this is probably 20, 10, 5, and then see 14 and 21 and that's a difference of 7 so I'm gonna add 7 here 21 plus 7 is 28 and then make sure it works here yep 28 plus 7 is 35 plus another 7 would be 42 and then subtract 7 for this one and we get 7 and then the last one see 12 15 18 so that's adding 3 each time so I'm just gonna subtract 3 going the opposite direction. And here we have 34, 51. So let's find the difference between 34 and 51. It's 17. And the difference between 85 and 102 is 17 too. So let's add 51 plus 17. will be 68 and then we have 34 so we're going to need to subtract 17 to figure out what comes before that is 17 okay so there we have our tables now we need to choose one and create a real, real world context for the ratios shown in the table so I'm just going to pick Let's just pick the first one. I'll do blue so it matches that one. So let's say, uh, let's do something with food maybe. Let's say a mom and daughter are eating mm, crackers. Let's say for every, I'm gonna look at the table, for every four crackers the daughter eats, her mom eats 11. What is the ratio? of the number of crackers the daughter eats to 
a number of crackers the mom eats. And you can come up with any other ratio, but maybe it'll be something similar, it could be completely different. Choose something that's interesting to you, maybe make it about soccer if you love soccer, but it should be somewhat in this, written in this format. You can just insert your own context.